we have a diameter instrumented from the image software with an interval of 5 nanometer and then I also have the number of pound for respective range okay so select the column and then go to the plot in the plot you can find option for the bar so here there are different way you can represent the bar so I'll be selecting the first one then maximize this window double click on the bar if you don't want to see the color so you can just go to the fill color type and here you can choose a different color I prefer to choose no none option and then apply right click on the scale bar I double click on the scale bar and then go to the line and ticks check this box and over here I prefer in in and also for this one in and then apply similarly I'll go for select the bottom check this box and change it to in and again to the in apply so that is done okay so here you need to write down so what is this this is the mean diameter in nanometer the symbol is like D okay select this text and change font size to 36 and on the Y is the count and again select the text and change font size to 36 for this one I prefer 24 similarly over here 24 now we will perform the fitting so how to do fitting go to the analysis in analysis you will find the fitting and go to the non-linear curve fit and the open dialog now over here you will find function selection so it shows the original basic function so first go and select the peak functions then you can find the list so over here uh, go to the log normal function okay. Once you select this one, if you want to know more detail about this function, you can go and check the formula. So this is the formula for this function and the sample curve will look like this one and uh, function find you can find over here. So now let's go and click on the fit until converge. So once you fit, uh, once you click over there, it will show a beautiful fitting and uh, you can also check the okay message click on the message and you can check the fitting is 0.991 so it's pretty good because it's close to one and then uh, what you can do is uh, i think you can go to the parameter and over here you can find the xc that is the center so the main diameter is 31.74 and the uh, log standard de deviation so it's a 0.21 so that's a log standard deviation okay and click on done so it will ask do you want to switch to the report sheet now at this time i will select none and click ok so this one you can move out of the graph and over here you can get the detail the peak center is 31.7 so it's roughly 32 nanometer and the uh, fluid uh, the standard deviation is 0 0.2 that's a log deviation Again, if you don't want to see this one or you don't want to see the box, you can just right click, go to the properties and in the properties you can find option for the frame and select box to be none and apply. Or here if you want to change the name, you will double click and write down log no, no fit. If you want to change the thickness of this fitted curve, uh, just select it and go over here and change for example to 3 and uh, okay. Then simply you can use uh, Ctrl C on the Windows or Command, Command C on the Mac and copy it and then paste it either in the PowerPoint or in the Word file. Just select this text. You can write down the detail over here. So the mean diameter D is 
is equal to 31 so it's a 32 nanometer and uh, standard deviation is 0 0.21 with the error bar of 1 right click and go to the symbol map over here you will find the symbol for the standard deviation insert close so yeah if you want to change the font size you just go over here and change it okay so i hope through this video you learn how to plot a histogram and then perform a fitting by using log normal distribution function you can replace the log normal distribution function with some other function like gaussian or Lorentzian based on your requirement so please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button to be updated with my new videos